And now the last one, how do you know naturally why are the um, kindness 30 learners? These ones, they learn best with their fingers. They learn best with their fingers. They learn best with movement of parts of the body. That's how they learn best. If you are, if you are teaching them something and you are explaining to them, after a while, they will switch up. If you come to the classroom with things to show everyone visually, as a visual approach, after a while, those same people, they will still switch off. They are the ones that, that, be, that, that disturb our class the most. Not because they, are, they have ADHD or they have ADD or they are hyperactive or there's a particular disorder. It's because when we are connecting with the old class, we don't connect with them. So one of the greatest ways to connect with such children, and they are, they are more in a typical classroom setting. From the research I said to you that I did, I discovered that in an ideal sample population, you can have more than 8% of the children in your class as naturally wired or detailed learners. No more than 8%, no more than 8 out of 100, no more than 4 out of 50, no more than 2 out of 25. And from the same research, I discovered that you cannot have more than 60% of an ideal sum population of children that are naturally wired visual personalities. So it would be 60 out of 100 in the school, 30 out of 50 in the school, uh, 15 out of uh, 25 in a class, or um, about 7 out of 10 in a class that are naturally wired visual uh, learners. Therefore, the kinesthetic learner types they are about 94% of the class, meaning even the auditory and visual, they are part of the kinesthetic uh, children in the class. And if you want to make sure that, if you want to be sure that everybody in your class is being carried along, you come with activities, with practical, with experiment, because these are kinesthetic approach to learn, for the whole class to learn. And as the kinetic learners are learning through activities, projects, and practical and experiment, the visual too, they are following along, and the auditory learners too, they are listening, they are also having eyes, they are using their fingers, so they are being carried along. At the end of the day, you are able to capture the whole class, carrying everybody along with no child left behind. Bottom line, teach kindness statically.